Yeah, we're doing this. Zuckerberg versus Elon Musk. Now, I don't care about who wins. This, this video is not about who wins the fight. We'll tell you that in a second, who I believe wins the fight if they fought right now. But it's more about why this matters and what we can learn from this as a martial arts experience. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, don't forget to pick up your own Colors of Combat t-shirt. We've got a brand new collection, 22 designs over multiple different martial arts. So that way you guys can wear your art with pride. It's a way for us to support the channel without resorting to sponsorships while you guys have some really cool souvenirs. So get your own now. Check out the link in the description, artofwindojo.com slash store. So yeah, this is actually happening. We've got two billionaires arguing online, and they've challenged each other to an MMA fight. Now, I don't know, they've got a little bit of a feud history going back and forth, something about starting with Elon Musk's spaceship blowing up one of Mark Zuckerberg's satellites. Don't really know, don't really care. And as far as you know, who's gonna win, um, I put up a poll to see what you guys thought. If they were the fight right now, who would be the victor? And let's see, according to the poll, as of recording this video, 58% of you think that Elon Musk would win, while 42% believe it would be Mark Zuckerberg. Now, I'm actually gonna kinda go against the grain and think it's flipped the other way around. I think if they fight today, my personal opinion is Mark Zuckerberg wins and Elon Musk is going to lose and lose pretty badly for a variety of reasons. Also, if you want a little bit of a laugh and some fun, as fast as the challenge came up, there is a free website game called Zuck v Musk online free to play. It's worth maybe about five minutes of a good laugh. I thought it was funny. You can find a link to the description. Check it out. We're going to be using it for some samples here, too. If you really want to see who's going to win, you have the power in your hands. So there's actually a lot of variables at play here that I think makes this more of a dynamic discussion. You've got Mark Zuckerberg, who's smaller at about 5'7", versus Elon Musk, who's about six foot. But Elon Musk also has more weight on him. He's bigger. He's probably got 30, 40 pounds on Mark Zuckerberg. But Mark Zuckerberg is younger, age 39 versus age 51. So there's a lot of potential equalizers here. And how does that come into play? The reason I feel that Zuckerberg would win if they fought today is mainly because he's in shape, he's been competing, and he's been training hard, and he's winning BJJ tournaments. But he's also a white belt in BJJ. He's, he's, you know, he's training or he's fighting in the white belt divisions. On the other hand, you've got Elon Musk, who he says his background is Kyokushin, uh, Judo, and Taekwondo, and a little bit of BJJ. Great art. However, he did it as a child. So if he hasn't been doing that since he was a child, then I think Zuckerberg might. So he's got a wider range of arts and possible more experience, but further back and not in practice versus a guy who's competing actively right now. Now, yeah, it might be cool to have these techniques as a kid. As a kid, I was doing jump spinning hook kicks. I'm not doing those today, and I've been training actively for the past 30 years. So there's a lot of potential equalizers here, but if they were to fight right now, today, I give it hands down to Zuckerberg because he's conditioned, he's training hard, he's doing MMA stand-up fighting now as well, and he's been actively competing, and he might not have, you know, white belt, he might not have a whole range of curriculum, but he's probably got, you know, the few solid core techniques that he's doing well. And then you also have Elon Musk, who makes a comment about how he's got his perfect technique called the walrus. Yes, he said this. He goes, I've got the technique called the walrus. All I have to do is lay down on the guy and he won't be able to move and there's nothing he can do. Speaking from experience as somebody who experienced the walrus, I once had to grapple a guy who was about 350 pounds and I'm no BJJ expert by any means. I'll get my, my ha ass handed to me anytime, but he laid down on top of me and there really was nothing I could do. I, it was All I could do was just let the clock run out and not tap out, um, but there, I couldn't counter anything like that. Musk does not have that kind of weight on him. Now, he's bigger, a couple, you know, 30 pounds against someone who's experienced is not enough weight to do the walrus. Also, he's assuming that he can get Zuckerberg on his back. If he has not been training the BJJ and Zuckerberg has, good luck putting Zuckerberg in a position to even do the walrus on. So I think his attitude right there is pretty bad off the bat. And I know there's a lot of skepticism if it's even gonna happen, you know, this might just be a publicity stunt. So, I, you know, who cares if it actually happens? I think the fun discussion here is, Let's say, for example, let's just go with the assumption that Zuckerberg does have the advantage. He's the one who's going to win. What would Musk have to do to match that? And now it's interesting because they both have unlimited resources. They're freaking billionaires. They can afford the best trainers. They can afford the best coaches. They can spend all day if they want. So let's set, set an arbitrary amount of time. Let's say a month. Let's say let's say Musk has a month to train. What do I think he would have to do to have a chance against Zuckerberg or perhaps but surpass Zuckerberg. And of course, I'm, this is just my opinion. I invite any challenges to this. I would love to hear your guys' opinion below. Just please keep it civil. Um, my personal opinion is I think the conduit has got to be MMA. At this point in time, Zuckerberg's training MMA. They do an MMA cage fight match. And personally, I believe if you want to learn how to fight 
learn how to fight well, fast, MMA is the way to go. A good MMA gym because, um, I, you know, I love traditional martial arts. I think there's a lot of lifelong lessons. There's a lot of more robust curriculum, a lot more robust life skills and, and material to learn. But if you have, if you're in a crunch and you have to fight fast, I think MMA is the way to go. And we've said this many times on the channel because there's, you know, it's streamlined. And there's a ton of power generation, a ton of endurance, and a ton of sparring. So that pressure testing is there and the conditioning. Without conditioning, you have nothing. My personal opinion is I think he should split his training between stand up and ground fighting, duh, uh, because Zuckerberg is now starting to do stand up fighting. But I think he should split his efforts about maybe 60% stand up, 40% ground. And the reason I say that is because because of his mass, he's got the body power, he's got the body size. He could probably develop some really, really strong strikes. And if Zuckerberg is just trying, you know, if he's got the basics of, of, of stand up fighting, I think Musk could put that effort in there and make that more of a specialty and get that build, you know, get a really good trainer and focus on the most basic common knockout strikes, the powerful strikes, boxing strikes, you know, don't nothing too fancy. Focus on the few and put a lot of time in that. So basically claim his specialty because right now Zuckerberg is a specialist on the ground. Now, 40% of his training, must training, I believe, should be on ground fighting, but mainly reversals. He should be doing a lot of reversals, escapes, and how to get out of stuff. And then learn, of course, a handful of submissions because I don't think... Um, he's going to want to stay on the ground. I think the effort should be for him to, if the fight goes to the ground, Zuckerberg is going to want it there. I think Musk is going to need to do what he has to to get out of it and get back up to his feet. Stick to his strength. Keep him on his feet, I think, gives Musk the bigger chance. On the ground, I think Zuckerberg is going to have the advantage unless he puts a ton of time into it. But I, that's my personal opinion i think 60 percent stand up 40 percent ground fighting and a majority of the ground fighting should be reversals and escapes and the sprawl he needs to learn that sprawl he needs to perfect that sprawl because with zuckerberg being bjj he's going to be going for that double leg takedown he's going to see those opportunities and shoot in that sprawl is very very useful and could mitigate some potential um submissions if musk knows how to use that properly the other thing too is conditioning Conditioning is going to be absolutely key here because Zuckerberg is in shape and he's been doing it. Musk is going to need to spend a lot of time in conditioning, CrossFit, running, cardiovascular stuff. He's going to have to get that endurance up, um, mainly because, um, just for example, Mark Zuckerberg just recently completed the Murph Challenge. The Murph Challenge is a CrossFit challenge in which a person has to run a mile, I believe do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups 300 squats and then run another mile all while wearing a weighted vest it's a very intense crossfit challenge mark zuckerberg just did that in 40 minutes musk has not so zuckerberg is in the far better shape than musk is so that's what i think he's got to focus on a lot a lot a lot of conditioning in crossfit about 60 percent stand-up fighting 40 percent ground fighting and get the top since he can afford it the top coaches in each one so Wayne, I think there's a lot to talk about here. There's a lot of potential equalizers on both sides, and I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I just want to, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, who cares? It's two, two billionaires fighting it out. You're right. I don't care. The chances of the fight even happening are slim, but I think it's a good opportunity to break down the martial arts and look at a scenario on, you know, if you're going up against a, a, a fighter who's more conditioned and more experienced than you, what would you have to do? If money was no object and you had a limited amount of time, what are the best tactics to or best decisions to make to try to stand up against that person. And of course, I invite this open for discussion. You know, I want to hear all opinions to keep it civil. This is supposed to be a fun topic. I don't want to dwell on this too much. But let me know what you think. Who do you think is the victor? If they were the fight right now today, who do you think would win? And if it was a month, what do you guys think? Uh, whoever you think wouldn't win, what do you think they would have to focus on in order to be ready for this challenge? So thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave your comments down below. Pick up your uh, Colors of Combat t-shirts, artofondojo.com slash store, and we'll see how this plays out. And hopefully it does happen, because maybe that'll be a fun watch party to do online. I don't know, but I'm ready to see two billionaires give each other bloody noses.